6.4 will be about the distribution of natural energy resources. So you want to know where the major resources are, or where the major reserves are. For coal, the, the greatest reserves are found in the United States, followed by Russia, Australia, China, and India. Within the United States, we see a lot of coal, um, like the Appalachian Mountains area on the west. Um, the western coal contains less sulfur, so you've seen an increase of investment into the western coal deposits. For oil, the greatest reserves are in Venezuela, then Saudi Arabia, Canada, again because of those tar sands, and then Iran and then Iraq. For natural gas, that would be Russia, followed by Iran, Iran and Qatar, the United States, and Saudi Arabia. And then finally, uranium, even though they don't um, necessarily, by the way, all these, by the way, doesn't necessarily mean this is where we get the most of the mining or the drilling, whatever it is. Um, but it's just saying where we see the, the greatest reserves, so the greatest proven reserves. So they are there, they are accessible, but that doesn't necessarily mean um, they're the greatest producers of that. So anyways, back to back to uranium. Um, we, Australia, then Kazakhstan, Canada, Russia, and then Namibia. Uh, by the way, I just want to talk about how uranium is um, is mined. So it's very kind of similar to to tar sands, where it's in situ mining, where they'll um, pump fluid down to to like kind of loosen it up and then suck it back up and process it. All right, then how long until you run out? So these are all non-renewable resources, um, and it, the numbers really do depend based upon how much we invest in them, how much uh, or how efficient we can make them. All these things, uh, but generally the accepted numbers for oil about another 50 years. I think I rounded for that one, maybe 40 something. Uh, uranium is about 80 years, natural gas about 90 years, and coal 150 years. So you can see, no matter where you are on the political spectrum of climate change, yes or no. Of course, in this class, climate change, yes, but it is still an issue. These fossil fuels are not going to last forever. Uranium is not going to last forever. Um, we need to find something that we can invest in so that when these stocks are depleted, we still have energy to power our society. And that is all. Uh, you just need to know where the natural resources are. It's a nice, easy PowerPoint.